I am grateful uh, that the chairman did put this uh, event on for everybody. Um, I am Jason Banks. I am not Dr. Jason Banks running for county commissioner in Canada County. Um, the only doctor in my family is my lovely wife who just received her doctorate degree. So uh, very proud of her for that. Um, I am running for uh, for the at-large seat. I was appointed about a year ago when uh, the untimely passing of Mr. Craddock. Um, in that time period, we in the last year, well, about a year and four months now, I guess, um, a lot of things we, we have accomplished uh, at the school. Um, we have attained accreditation that Mr. Beaumont had spoken about. Not just for the high school, what everybody wanted, but every school in the district has now been accredited. Um, as most of you, know, of you know, I am a retired law enforcement officer. Um, one of my, I guess, greatest accomplishments you could call it was getting a school resource officer in every building. Um, we do have a school resource officer in every building. Um, if y'all look at all the events that have taken place here recently, you cannot put a price tag on child safety. This it's just, you cannot do it. Um, very proud of that. Um, also, our uh, test scores for schools have just come out recently. Um, as overall, as a district, we have scored the highest we have ever scored as a district. Um, there are some areas that we're going to, our scores will be close to the, and some areas will be in the top 10, 10% or the top 10 in the schools, some will be in the top 20. Uh, so we are making a, a great, great deal of progress on that. Um, Layout Middle School was expanded. Um, that was completed, that project was completed and they came in under budget um, as well. Uh, but y'all elementary school, that was expanded. Um, and if you get a chance to walk through there, that new building and compare it to the old building, it's like, it's like night and day. Um, and that project came in under budget as well. Um, Tolls Creek Road Elementary School is, um, is underway. Um, hopefully that will be open in October. Um, not on wood, um, everything goes according to plan. Um, those schools were, were open and they were they were remodeled and opened because of the growth of the county. Uh, there's nobody, either on the board of education side or the county commissioner side, that realized that the growth of this county would expand as fast as it did. Um, some of the rezoning was done in the 80s, not knowing that all of a sudden, boom, here we are, and uh, this is where we're at now. Um, schools do not, we don't generate children, we only educate children. Um, our, this year alone, we had a record number of students this year. Um, next year is going to be a record number of students as well if we keep, keep growing like we're growing. Um, one of my main goals when I, when I originally ran two years ago was to have a better dialogue with the county commissioners. Um, I'm, we're, we're getting there. Um, we, we, conversations already started. Um, if, if I'm elected and the other board members are elected on the county commissioner side, I'm hope, hope, my, my plan and my goal is for at least the chairman of both boards have a conversation to let everybody know where we're at, both financially and where we're at with our, uh, our education system. Um, also, I'd, I'd like to, to add, you know, my, my wife graduated from Heritage County Schools, and Ms. Beaumont is right. Um, they do not get, in for, get into that for the money. Uh, no teacher does. My sister um, just recently retired. She didn't do it for the money. Um, I wish that the Board of Education had the ability to dictate what a school teacher made as far as their salary. I wish, um, because they are very, very underpaid. Um, my goal as a, as a board member would be work with the state to try to increase the salaries for the, for the school teachers. Um, it's got to come from the state. We cannot rely on local funds. We are taxed way too much. Um, the county does control the siphon that is paid to the school teachers. Um, their county does pay their, their county commissioners do pay their teachers more than we pay ours. Um, so, but with, with saying that, I am Jason Banks. I am running for uh, Board of Elections at the Board of Education. I appreciate your vote. Thank you. Next up are candidates for the Fruitville Township Board of Education seat. First up, Ms. Kelly Peters.
evening. Thank you everyone for coming in for the chamber for this event. My name is Kelly Peters. I'm seeking re-election to the Board of Education. Um, just to start out a little bit about myself, I was born and raised in Curry Tuck on Knott's Island. I graduated from Curry Tuck County High School, attended UNC Wilmington, and graduated with a BS in Business Management. I've worked in local government for the past 20 plus years. I'm married. My husband also graduated from Curry Tuck County High School. We have one, he works at the Port of Virginia. We have one daughter and she's in middle school. I've always taken pride in our community and I've worn many hats. I've been a room mom, PTA president, parks and rec coach, booster club member, Girl Scout volunteer, and a Brewerton. My family believes in giving back and will always be a part of Curry Time. I'm asking for your support. As I've served on the board for the past four years, we have made a lot of progress. The board navigated in the beginning in 20 through an unprecedented time of COVID and we had to make difficult decisions monthly and were leaders in bringing our students and staff back to school safely. These were constantly changing times with many challenges. Our school district has implemented a strategic plan. As been mentioned, we've had additions to Moyot Elementary and Moyot Middle School to address the growth of our county. We're one of the fastest growing counties in North Carolina. We also broke ground with the new Tulls Creek Elementary School. We became district accredited and with working with the Board of Commissioners, we did get resource officers in all of our school which is near and dear to me as I work in a place where there was an active shooter situation, so I know how important it is to have this. The middle and high schools already had them, but now they're in all of our elementary schools, and if you walk through them, you'll see the resource officers. They're very engaged. They've, they've been a great asset to our schools. Um, and of course, as it just was mentioned, we did get our report cards released. They were the best that they've had since the state started reporting in about 10 years ago. This has been, we're very proud of this. Our schools are very proud of this as well. Um, we still have work to do. Our district struggles with recruiting and retaining qualified teachers. We are a border county with the state of Virginia. They can drive 15 minutes from Knott's Island or 15 minutes from Marriott and they can make 10 to $12,000 more. This makes it very difficult for us to get those teachers. Even though all of our staff is very important, we have to have these qualified teachers. Um, we also need to continue our work with working with the Board of Commissioners. We have to keep that dialogue. Like someone said, we are directly affected by their choices and they do fund us, so we have to have that relationship open and, and responsive. Um, we also need to, I've had this school year, there's been a lot of calls from parents about their children with getting their classes straight, with counselors and going back and forth. So I believe we do need to help have these tools and resources out there for more for counselors and even psychologists because our kids are living in a very different time than probably from the age group in here that most of us live through. We do need to cater to that. Um, I've been contacted by parents, students, staff over these past four years. I've always done my best to do whatever I can to help them find the answers or get to where they need to be. And I'm very proud of this county. I am, like I said, from here. I want the best for it. And I will always do what's the best right thing to do. So I will ask for your vote on November 5th. My name is Kelly Peters, and I thank you for for coming tonight. Thank you. Next up for Fruitville Township Board of Education, Miss Emily Crown. Township seat and includes Knott's Island and Corona Beach down to Corolla. 
don't live in that district, you're still able to cast your vote for me if you so choose. I have two sons, William and Andrew. Andrew is an eighth grader at Moyoc Middle School, and William just graduated from Curry Tuck County High School and is now attending NC State studying agriculture education. My husband and I bought our first home in Knott's Island in 2006. In 2017, we purchased the farm behind Knott's Island Elementary School, where we successfully operated Martin Farm and Winery for six seasons. During that time, we learned so much about running a small business, as well as the agriculture industry itself. We were able to host field trips for the students at the school, where they could walk down to the farm, enjoy class picnics by the water, Easter egg hunts, or my favorite, the annual pumpkin patch, where we provided field trip pumpkins for each student to pick out and take home. Sadly, in November of 2022, my husband, Will Craddock, passed away from a heart attack three days after being elected to the Board of Education at Large C. Will loved Knott's Island. He loved Curry Tuck. He loved its rich history and its people. He loved being a part of this community and wanted nothing but the best for students in Curry Tuck. Students First to Will was not just a slogan. It was his vision and it was his passion. He knew that Curry Tuck County Schools had the potential to be one of the best school systems in the region. I lived his vision. I lived his passion for well over a decade. I was his sounding board. I knew the issues he wanted to confront and how he wanted to confront them. And that's why I'm running for Board of Education, because I want to help see his vision come to fruition. I want to continue his fight. I want to see financial, financial accountability, integrity on the board, growth in student achievement, higher teacher pay without raising taxes, and transparency on the board. And if elected, I will be representing all citizens of Curry Tuck County, whether you have a child in the school system or not, whether you live in my district or not, whether you're a Republican, Democrat, Independent, or any other party affiliation. Because I believe that any person elected or appointed to any board in Curry Tuck County is a steward of the taxpayer's hard earned dollar and should act accordingly. I also believe that a county is only as good as its school system. For I don't know too many corporations that are gonna come invest in a county that does not have a prospering and thriving school system. Now with all that being said, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stand up here and tell you I have all the answers because I don't. But what it does mean is that I will work for you. I will work to find the answers. I will work to come up with ideas and solutions to help this school system prosper. We have wonderful, brilliant students. We have hardworking, dedicated staff, teachers, and principals, but they need help. So please help me help them become top priority in Curry Tuck County so that our school system can prosper and our county can prosper. Again, my name is Emily Cronick. I'm running for Board of Education, Freeville Township C, and I would love to earn your vote. I'd like to thank the Chamber for hosting this event this evening. And most importantly, I would like to thank you, the citizens, for coming out to become better informed voters. Thank you, and God bless Curry Tuck County. Now on to the Board of Education Moyoc Township seat. First up, Mr. Zedrick McKinnon. Is Mr. McKinnon here? All right. Then next up would be Miss Guan Craft.
that our district school report card solidifies that this plan is working with the school report card coming out just last week, 1A, 5B schools, 3C schools, 1B school, but all of those schools, with the exception of one, made at least expected growth and sometimes more. These are the best scores that Curry Tech has seen since the state implemented this program in 2013-2014. School additions, you've already, we've already talked about that. We're working on the redistricting process. And I would just like to say that every vote that I've made as a school board member has been cast and, that, and based on what I felt was best for our students. Last year when I spoke to teachers and staff about at, their opening, at our opening convocation, I asked them to remember what their why was. And I'm gonna tell you, my reason for running was and continues to be the Curry Tech County students. And so I ask you to um, vote for Dwan Pratt in November. Thank you. Next up, candidate for Marriott County School Board or Board of Education seat, Ms. Sandy Ayers. Shawborough Elementary and Moyak Middle School. I've been a Girl Scout leader for 10 years. I serve on the Chamber Board, the YMCA Board, and Curry Tuck Kids. <coughs> As someone who is deeply connected to this community, I've witnessed the incredible work that goes into shaping our schools, but I've also seen areas where we can do better. That's why I'm running, to ensure our district moves forward in a way that prioritizes the well-being of our students, the support of our teachers, and the efficient use of our resources. First, we must improve communication between the Board of Education and the Board of Commissioners. There's been a disconnect. When we fail to communicate effectively, we waste time and resources, and our students suffer. I will work to foster relationships and collaboration so that decisions are made in the best interest of our children and our community as a whole. Another priority of mine is ensuring we manage our funds effectively. As a local business owner and a mom, I know that with careful oversight, we can maximize every dollar, making sure it goes where it matters most, our classrooms. Our teachers need the resources to succeed and our students deserve the tools to thrive. Properly managed funds will help us create an environment where both teachers and students can excel. One issue that is deeply personal to me is mental health. My daughter has been open about her own struggles with mental health and through therapy, family support, and her own determination, she's now thriving at UNC Charlotte. Her journey has shown me firsthand how critical mental health resources are in our schools. Our students are facing challenges that go way beyond oh. academics. And if we don't address their mental and emotional well-being, we're failing. <coughs> As a board member, I will advocate for strong support in our schools so that every student has the opportunity to thrive, just like my daughter did. Finally, I want to affirm my commitment to our teachers. They are the heart and soul of our schools. As our teacher assistants, custodial staff, maintenance, food services, bus drivers, everyone who works with our kids daily play, play a role in the success of our students. It is a team effort. Again, as a business owner, I know the importance of investing in those that give so much. We must support them and listen to their needs. Recruiting and retaining amazing teachers must be a priority. We need policies that ensure they have the resources, professional development, and respect they deserve. When our teachers are supported, our students succeed. I believe in the potential of our schools and I believe the strength of this community to succeed. To 
Together, we can make Prairie Tech a place where every student, teacher, and family has the opportunity. I humbly ask for your support in this election. Again, my name is Sandy Ayers. Not just for me, but the future of our children and our schools. Thank you. Please make sure to go around, visit the candidate tables, and talk to them. So please take your time and talk to anybody you'd like to. Thank you for being here with us. And thank you again for uh, North Carolina Cooperative Extension.